Once you grasp this truth that I'm about to tell you, it'll set you free from religion, it'll set you free from parents and moms and family and governments and police, everybody, it'll set you free. And it's simply this, you are divine. God has exploded in a crab nebulae explosion and he has come and manifested himself as billions of people. And you're one of them, and so am I. When I look at you, I see God. When you look at me, you see God. That's why God's name is I Am. I Am God. It doesn't mean that me, God, it means I Am. When you say I Am God, you have to say, what is God's name? I Am. What? I Am God. Oh, my God, then all the people, Christians run around. Oh, I told you they think they're God. I don't think anything on the other side. No, Jesus Christ said. The scripture says you are God, and the scripture cannot be broken. So he said it. Yeah, yeah, I'm like a third album. Peace, 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 family. How you all doing? I hope all is well with you. My name is Keisha. I'm the owner of Ascendant Astrology, and I am your astrology coach. Today, I'm going to be talking about Saturn and Libra, continuing my Saturn through the sign series. Uh, what is Saturn? Saturn is very heavy energy. It's limitations, restrictions, responsibility, and hard work. Saturn shows us what type of challenges we're most likely to face throughout our entire lifetime. It also gives you information on how to deal with obstacles. Saturn rules limitations, organization, structure. It is your reality. It's very practical. It rules fear, anxiety, loneliness, discomfort, boundaries, discipline. And it can be a workaholic. Libra is uh, lives in the seventh house. It's the marketplace. Um, it's business. Uh, these can be very business oriented people. Um, all kinds of people, thugs, <laughs> um, friends, siblings. Just you know, really, it rules all relationships, even your relationship to other things like your relationship to money, your relationship to how you love, your relationship to yourself, um, you know, all relationships, how you connect with the everything is really what Libra rules, which is why they're really good at, um, or why rather they rule the marketplace, because these people tend to be very um, good at customer service. Um, it also rules um, marriage, um, partnerships, um, contracts, agreements. Um, these people can be like the people who set the stage for like re real estate. You know how they have homes that you go and see and typically they set up really nicely. I don't know what you call that, but. That's definitely a Libra theme, but it can be in any field. It doesn't just have to be pertaining to uh, real estate. That's just my way of explaining it. But um, uh, it also rules counseling, mentors, um, in the legal fields. Any anything that has to do with the courthouse. And all those kind of legal type things, all ruled by Libra. These people are like uplifting people. Um, um, they're very fair um, and care about fairness when it comes to making deals as a customer service or in the marketplace. Uh, they're good at trade. Um, these people typically don't, um, don't end up in long-term marriages, even though that's something that they want and crave, um, or it's very, um, non-traditional. I'll, I'll put it like that. Um, they don't care about money, but if they get it, that's great. Um, but either way, these people are fairly happy with just being in the customer service or having exchange with others. Um, these people want to make a change in the world. 
Um, these are some of your best judges, lawyers, and businessmen. Uh, unfortunately, again, relationships can be challenging or become a burden for these people, especially early on in life, because they have to learn how to relate. So they often will go through a bunch of challenging relationships in order to learn what it is they really want, how they want to be in that relationship, et cetera. Um, uh, relationships typically in, for these people require a lot of effort and hard work, which is real for anybody. Let's just be clear. <laughs> like that's a real thing. Um, I do, I, I, I don't know. Well, people who have been following me for a while know this about me is that I have the, um, relationship page that I made and all those posts that I did I did that as you could imagine because I'm a Libra rising these are lessons that I needed to learn and so I was like why not make a page about it right and um the one thing that I learned that is a misconception when it comes to relationships is that all relationships require work in order for it to last Right. And so this this transit, this specific placement can really, really um, enlighten that idea of what it takes to make a relationship work. And because it is Libra, they're willing to do the work, but it can become um, a lot of work, very overwhelming and burdensome for these people. But again, they learn through those challenges how to master relationships um this could also come with challenges and partnerships and raising children so even within your business deals you might experience some challenges with that and raising children um, these people tend to take on responsibility um together as a couple especially again later on in life that's the key um, have an equal give and take and balancing out responsibilities within the relationship end up making these people very happy. <laughs> and it makes the hard work all the more um, rewarding, I'll say. And these people like to work together on the goals of the relationship and having their own separate goals in relationship is another thing that they learn through relationships is that people have to live their own lives being together is um, a blessing to have somebody go on your own personal journey with you but these people also learn and understand throughout the terrible relationships that they go through how to manage allowing others to go through their own journey as well as you go through your own journey but you also have things that you do together um these people can tend to old um tend to date older men or more mature men or women um because they see the value and again going back to that idea of understanding that people have their own journeys and so they might often get a bad reputation for being in and out of relationships really throughout their entire life because of the way they um relate <laughs> um they're designed to be in long-term relationships it's it's libra it rules marriage but because of the challenges and struggles that they go through, they tend to be a little bit more open and flexible on how that looks. And that can give them a bad name. Even in their dating life, they can get a bad reputation for date or being uh, habitual daters. Uh, but um, again, it's really going back to that idea of they just have a keen understanding of if people aren't ready, it's not meant to be forced or, uh, you know, that whole people pleasing idea that people have about Libras. They rather just leave and say, you know what, you don't know what the future holds. Come back when you're more stable, more mature and ready to have conversations and work things out because it really is quite draining for these people to be in relationships when the other person isn't pulling their weight, um, 
yeah, I feel like I can say so much more about that, but I think you guys get the picture. As usual, family, I love and appreciate you. I hope you found this information helpful. Peace.